Good morning, good afternoon. It's afternoon now. You've already seen me early this morning on the live feed. So, this is No Makeup Thursday. Um, this is clean hair. Got ready for surgery. <laughs> Tried to wear something that, um, you know, I could just unbutton and take off and put back on with no problem. And got a shower early and was on our way to Birmingham at 645 when we did the live stream and if you have not seen it I will tell you that they did not remove the lipoma today uh, we got there and I was nervous but uh, my girls prayed for me Tuesday night and John and I prayed last night. We got a couple of family members that have the flu and we were praying for them as we laid down and um, prayed over surgery, prayed over my surgery before I went in. And so she came in and we got to talking about the other issue, my issue with Epi. And um, she said, what about plain lidocaine? You know, how much of that can you have? I think she's just been thinking it through. And I said, I don't know. I told her about an incident that I had at the dentist several years ago where it started causing my body. But now I had three small cavities that day. And she said, well, was it lidocaine with epi? And I said, I just don't know. I should have checked before, but it's been so long. and. <clears throat> after we did the consult after I went I I thought she felt pretty good or felt okay by doing it with lidocaine but I think it um, when she rechecked it this morning saw how large it was she said she felt like it was gonna be deep I just think she just started second-guessing and when she started second-guessing I sure didn't want to do it <laughs> Like I just told John, I just felt like it was a sign. But um, I have since called that dentist, and it was in 2006, and it was called mm, Septocaine, I think is what I, I put it in my phone. I can't look right now. I think it was called Septocaine, and it did have some Epi in it, which I don't understand that because I had told that dentist that I was very sensitive to Epi. So maybe she thought, but now I'm just telling people I'm allergic to it because I just, it's just not worth me trying to have it because it makes my heart go crazy. And um, so we just talked and she was like, well, I just don't know. She said, I'm just not equipped here at this dermatologist office that she showed me the syringe that she was gonna use and it it wasn't the great big ones but it was still about you know the bigger ones not the small syringes a medium-sized syringe and she had three of them full of lidocaine and she said I am just really hesitant about using this much lidocaine on you and then again I don't want to get in there and you start feeling it and I'm like I don't want to feel it either and um, she said but I'm not equipped should you have a seizure or start bleeding um, you know really bad so and then something going wrong with your heart I mean she's at a big dermatologist office and if she's not feeling good about it I certainly am not feeling good about it so she walked out and I just told John I said I feel like this is a sign from God that she mentioned that it probably needed to be done at a hospital probably just light sedation where there would be an anesthesiologist that would be there and would be equipped if I had any reactions. That's, it's really, you know, it's scary to think that you can just have that much reaction uh, with drugs and stuff, but I do. Um, I mean, most, I, I, I don't even know if there's any, really any pain pills that I can really take because they make me itch and they rev up my heart and so, but thank goodness I don't have to take anything like that on a regular basis. But anyway, surgery was canceled and John was back at work probably by 9.30. So, it's not like he, um, you know, missed a lot of time. And so, I just feel better about it. Um, Ashley and Michael are going on a 10-year anniversary trip the end of February. And then Reed 
is having his tonsils out um, March the 2nd. So I'm hoping that I can schedule it the week after that. <sighs> you know how grandmothers and everything are. You have to schedule what you can do around everybody else. So I'm hoping to be able to maybe to get it done that first week of March. So anyway, because I mean, it's it's aggravating. I mean, it's it's not bad. I can definitely feel it under my arm. And even with certain things I wear, you can see it right through here because it's bulging out. But as far as, I mean, it's not painful at all. And so I just, it's growing and it does need to come out. And, uh, you know, that's what she said. She said, if we were dealing with something cancerous, we would, you know, we would take it out today, but we're not. It's probably just a lipoma. And, the, and of course, that will be verified when they do the surgery. But she sees enough of it that she pretty much knows what she's talking about. But anyway, I'm riding over to Mother's. Ashley went to uh, Children's Theater with Rhett this morning. And then she brought him on back home. And so Rhett and Riggs is visiting their great-grandmother today. So I'm going to ride over there and see them for a little while. So... Um, but anyway, I just wanted to give y'all a little update on why we didn't do it. And like I said, she didn't feel good about it on girlfriend. If she didn't feel good about it, I sure didn't feel good about it. So I was like, we will do what you say, what you think is best. And that's the route we're going. So that's where we are. We'll get that rescheduled. Hopefully I go February the 12th for a consult with a surgeon. And then we'll get it done hopefully in March. So, fix go see my boys. Love you. Bye.